geology played a huge role in the building of the Erie Canal. When the United States first became a country, plans were made to settle areas to the west, like Kentucky and Ohio. But the mountains were a big barrier. Can you see the chain of mountains that runs all up and down the eastern United States? Settlers west of those mountains who wanted supplies from the east, or who wanted to send their farm produce to communities to the east, simply couldn't transport them over the mountains. The few dirt roads were rough and full of rocks, and there was only so much that horses and wagons could pull over the difficult terrain. Back then, it was common knowledge that when you float heavy loads on water, it makes them easier to carry. A floating barge full of produce could be pulled along or sailed much more easily than a coach could be pulled along. But water doesn't go over mountains. New York geology gave our state a solution. About 13,000 years ago, ice sheets which covered the area, were melting back across upstate New York and Canada. At one point, Lake Ontario was mostly uncovered, and it was full of meltwater from those ice sheets. Lake Ontario drains through the St. Lawrence River today. However, 13,000 years ago, that area was still under an ice sheet, so water from those melting ice sheets just kept on filling the lake. Eventually, the lake grew larger and larger as huge ice sheets melted back and all the paths the water could take were blocked by the mountains. The lake eventually found an outlet in Little Falls, New York. There, the lake water fell over a great waterfall and blasted a channel through the mountains, creating a natural break. You can see that break in the mountains on this relief map of New York State. This glacial stream in Canada is carving holes in the rocks called potholes by geologists. If you hike around Little Falls today, you can still see huge potholes where the water carved its way through the area as the Ice Age came to an end and massive ice sheets were melting back. Thousands of years later, engineers were able to use the channel cut through the mountains by that water to create the Erie Canal. Even today, that small gorge is used by the canal, the train tracks, and several roads because it is a natural break in the mountains that made building and travel in the area much simpler. In fact, you might say that construction on the Erie Canal really began 13,000 years ago, as water from melting ice sheets carved its way through the mountains of upstate New York in search of a path to the sea.